can't see. tell, I can't correct. I can't see. So right now everything is the way I, I was seeing it when it was blurry. Are you serious? The way you were seeing it when it was blurry. Wow. Yeah. And have those eyes corrected, darling. <laughs> Everybody, I'm Kit Kiarie and I'm joined once again by Mami Apondi Nyangaya. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. As you know, we are on Spotify now, so you can listen to all our vlogs on Spotify as podcasts. How? Awesome is How that? How awesome is that? People say they're really enjoying listening to us. So that's Are good. you serious? Yeah. Because people listen to us anyway. They listen to okay. our vlogs as podcasts. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so that's okay. really good. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, we're enjoying making the videos once again. Um, yes. So yeah, we're having a good time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Thank having you for a very coming. good time. Thank you for coming. You. Um, so if you enjoy this type of content, please like, please subscribe if you are new. And other than that, let's get into it. Today I am talking about, I want you to give me some advice. Okay. I'm having a really, really difficult time with, with my oldest child. <laughs> Are we going to say her name? Of course. I'm having a difficult she's time a with my oldest. Child. She's an old, she, she's a lovely, we can get into her loveliness later. Um, and one time I shared on my Instagram how I felt like she was bullying me and her mom's came out in droves mm -hmm. talking about how their child acts like night and day when they're with them and when they're with their father yes a few very i think it was maybe two out of 70 submissions yeah. came out to say their child acts very differently when they're with their father mm -hmm. that they are the way we are describing they're with us mm -hmm. The, with their father and when they come into the space the child is a normal child uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. so yeah so that's what i would like to ask advice about today because i know that many parents are going through that many parents my age mm -hmm. um who have children my age mm -hmm. and maybe they don't have a mommy to talk to so i'm mm -hmm. going to talk to my mommy mm -hmm. and we're going to help these people and you're going to help me as well okay okay so I'll be coming from Kit. I think I I need to say at uh, the outset that I'll be coming from what I know, and yeah. sometimes what I know yeah. is inadequate. Yeah. But I'll bring it all in. Yes. What I know is what I know. Yeah. And we shall run with uh, with what I know, and uh, none of it will be necessarily true. Yeah, yeah, but it will be what I know a perspective a it, place to stand. Yeah. Yeah So it's just things for people to consider and uh, some of it might be triggering yeah. and uh, Yeah, you might not like it. Well, you do you do the things you like yes. and uh, Yeah, just consider it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so first let's talk about what happened this week um, mm. and I was I called Martin crying? I said I am sick of this. This is <laughs> so frustrating. So I picked her up. I I usually pick up Keo first, and then I pick up Candy um, from school. From school, and then so when I'm when we are on our way to 
Keo, to Kendi's school. We talk with Keo, how was your day? I tell him how my day was. I did this, I did the other, I edited a video, what is edited, uh, then I did a presentation, what is a presentation, and we talk about all of that. And then he tells me what he did in school. Mm -hmm. um, some days he saw monkeys, apparently there's monkeys in his school, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, what he ate for lunch, what his teacher said, there was a boy who did that and another girl who such and such. Same thing, yeah. Kendi, Kendi enters the car mm -hmm. and I tell her again about my day. Mm -hmm. I did this, I did the other, ta -da -da. Mm -hmm. what about you? Mm -hmm. And she tells me about her day. Mm -hmm. This one time, she's telling me she has a, a presentation coming up and mm -hmm. she wants me to she's a narrator in the presentation so mm -hmm. i was like oh wow amazing you landed a lead role right mm -hmm. so she wants to tell me about the presentation so she mm -hmm. wants to read it mm -hmm. or narrate it out of from memory mm -hmm. so she tries and gets stuck somewhere but chaos keeps disturbing her oh you're you're reading stop reading and she's like Keo, leave me alone and mm -hmm. i tell Keo, okay please stop mm -hmm. let her just do it and so mm -hmm. she does it and then she says, and then mama, mm -hmm. they're also going to give me a, p a place, a, they're also going to give me a chance about gymnastics or something to do with that. Mm -hmm. And I say, oh, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. And she goes, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I go, okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Mm -hmm. You don't know if you're going to be showing gymnastics or if you're going to be reading gymnastics. Mm -hmm. And she starts to get really upset and angry and saying things like, this is so irritating and now she's not talking to me. And I'm like, what is irritating? The fact that I'm relating with you and I'm talking to you. No, you're always shouting at me. Oh. Okay. So I keep quiet. Mm -hmm. We're riding along. Keo tries to talk to her, she screams at him, and I tell Keo, Keo, don't talk to her, Kendi. Kendi mm. needs a minute. Mm. Um, and then we are riding along, and she goes, Mama, uh, mm. oh, I'm supposed to, uh, now all her, everything has gone back to normal somehow. Uh -huh. Now she's sitting behind me, so I can't see her. I mm -hmm. can't even see her in the mirror. I can uh -huh. only see Keo. Mm -hmm. So she goes, Mama, I'm supposed mm. to make a ball bowl a ball a ball mm -hmm. and i say oh really mm. and she starts to cry oh. she said it with a normal voice and then a she normal crying. voice okay so then then i say oh really and then she <sighs> She huffs and puffs first. Huffs and puffs. Uh -huh. And I'm driving along and thinking, I'm going to drop her off here. I'm dropping her off here. And, 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 and I'm just counting my losses. I'm counting my losses. I didn't have this <laughs> and she starts to cry. And I'm like, I lose. You I lose, lose my. <laughs> oh. Why are you crying? Because you're shouting at me. Did you shout? Why did you shout? Why are you crying? Yeah, at that stage you yeah. you you uh, yeah. lost your marbles. That at, I lost my marbles. I threw them out the window, and and I was so frustrated. How we've been riding, and then there was so much traffic. So we'd been riding for about forty minutes at that time, and I'm just like you are single-handedly controlling the space in the, the car. space in the car yeah. your brother can't even be mm. he can't talk to you he can't mm. talk to me he, nobody can be mm. because Kendi is in a bad mood mm. you understand so that, mm. that my frustration was there i'm mm. like why are you you're so little why are you controlling the space in the car mm. now I ask the question What is that? Number one. Mm -hmm. why, why? Yeah. First of all, what is that? Let's start from there. You know, the word angst <laughs> was introduced <laughs> to me. You've started to. 
Yeah. We just start at the end. Start at the end. Start just start, start at, the, at end. the finish line. Start at the finish line so that you can come up with solutions. <laughs> So uh, it was introduced to me when 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 you guys were teenagers, and I was like, "What on earth is that?" Yeah, and I, I had to go into research and find out what's this. Mm. And basically, it's teenage anger that is not predictable, and you cannot quite reach it and touch it. Mm. And the, the person, the teenager. Mm. No, the anger. Okay. Yeah. No, the who can't it's touch an, it. You can't. You, even the person even describing okay. it cannot mm. say this mm. is what I'm describing. Mm. Were you able to describe this effectively? Yeah. And some children are born with angst. They're already annoyed. They're <laughs> pre annoyed. They're pre angry. So, and they, even they can't tell what they're angry at. About. Uh, angry about. Maybe they're just like, well, I was living such a good life. Why am I here? Yeah. Why? Why am I on earth? I, I mean, heaven was good. Uh, <laughs> the Almighty knew me before I was knit in and my mother's womb. Yeah, now I'm here I, dealing I with all of them. I existed. I, 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 it was a wonderful, it was fantastic. He knew me by name. Yeah. He knew every hair on my head. Now yeah. even hair is falling off. Yeah. Uh, I, with every comb. It's, it, it is a nightmare on earth. Yeah, it's quite, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot, it's a lot. Yes, it is a lot, yeah. it is a lot. Yeah. So, but so they, even they are not able to tell what they are angry about. So yeah. you, you'll ask her, eh? Yeah. Why she's angry. Yeah. And, and she told me, and like she told me I can't, like I can't explain because you're shouting at me. Yeah, you are now the excuse. Yeah, she needs an excuse. Yeah, and that's what I told so her. So that she can say. That's what I told her. But you. then you know, the, you know, when you're talking to someone and you're like, this conversation is too old for them. Mm -hmm. But then you must still continue because there's just something in your brain that is telling you <laughs> you can't stop. Like it's a, a train you can't stop. Yes. Because I'm like now, I, don't. I'm not your scapegoat because now I have to explain what a scapegoat is. Yes. Punching bag. I'm yeah. not punching you, Mama. I've never touched you. You know, it's just ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Martin keeps telling me, you know, that's an eight-year-old. I'm like, yeah, but it's an eight-year-old who's taken over. And and yeah. you know what? I'm a survivor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> with good cheer right but i did survive that teenager i did survive that one who who was a teenager before they became a teenager <laughs> they were teenagers from very early yeah you, you, sometimes well, you're watching me? a four is year me? i'm not going to now you're start not going pointing. to say which mm -hmm. you're not going to point fingers no nah, i'm not i only have three children so now if i start <sighs> pointing anyway mm. There's somebody you're watching, they're four years old, and, yes. and, and you're dealing with a teenage. Yeah. And I'm not the only one who has dealt with it. Yeah. I've watched my sister deal with a teenager yeah. Yeah. From who was the four get. years from the get. They are born, and they are born into teenage women. Yeah. And they're giving you the angst yeah. and all the things. <laughs> Internal turmoil. Yes. Yeah. And then, for some of them, it stops. But some people just go into adulthood, and I've watched people my age. Have you seen full grown Your men in no. full blown tantrum? tantrum? Full blown tantrum. They're breaking for their things. mother. They're there for their mother. And they're their just elderly they're, mother. For their elderly mother, or for their wife, or for their daughters or, or, or sons, they are breaking things. They're just throwing a tantrum. It's somebody who just has teenage angst from birth to age 70. You. Yeah. And one day they lay down and die, and everybody says it's hallelujah and rest, rest in, in eternal peace. Eternal peace. Because that peace then uh, arrives on this side. So, um, you know what, baby girl? <laughs> um, this is what I'm going to say. Mm. There comes a time in life when, even as a parent, eh, one has to define what peace and success looks like for me in terms of serenity for myself yes yeah um there's too many books and too much theory yeah about looking after the children yeah and um, while while actually 
f um, purposefully harming the parent purposefully harming the parents and all kinds of laws yeah. and directions yeah. and policies yeah. Yeah. that have to do with us being abused yes. yeah. Yeah. and receiving truly, abuse truly yes truly let's just say it yeah. receiving abuse yes. and being okay with it yes some by somehow by some miracle yeah so I'm a, I'm a baby boomer generation X yeah right yeah and you're we, the last you're the last baby boomer i'm the last baby boomer yeah. and and we um uh, i'm generation x mm. but we grew up uh, running wild and mm. looking after ourselves and mm. and, and and finding christ mm. on our own mm. not necessarily being led mm. by by our parents to christ mm. but uh christ finding us actually mm. <laughs> you were gone you were gone generation we we, mm. we are that generation mm. and uh, so um and we were we were spanked yeah and we were aligned uh yeah. we were given punishments where you had to kneel down and yeah. hold your ears yeah. and you know we had to do all kinds of physical punishments huh? yeah so uh, kit my generation then developed uh survival techniques of bringing up the next generation yeah. in such a way yeah. as we were more present in your lives than our parents were pre present in our lives mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, um, we helped you to develop uh, policies around child care and nini nini mm -hmm. uh, you know we are, we are, we are trying to, to, to do things that can uh, kind of repair some of our own childhood traumas yes and i think what we've created is a generation yeah. your generation yes who are thinking yeah uh, soft parenting yes and with that soft parenting it's called gentle parenting gentle mm, gentle and response they say gentle or responsive parenting yeah yeah i'm sorry mm. what i'm seeing is a generation of mm. people setting up themselves to be bullied and now you're getting trauma from a different level there was that trauma from parents now you're getting trauma from children so you are in that in that stuck generation who are traumatized by your parents now you're being traumatized by your children so you're being you you, you are handling trauma from two different directions so you need to deal with your own childhood traumas that your generation and then i don't know at what stage you will repair the traumas that are coming from your children yeah mom yeah there's, so there's this person who is so traumatized by her children and now that you've said that i've, I've always been wondering what's going on here what's going on here i think she's traumatized yeah I you, think she's traumatized by her children. Kate, do you know you're the first generation who kills their children? You guys did not. How? I can't kill my child. It's my baby. My job is to keep my children alive by whatever means. So my generation wow. kept the children alive. That was our job. Your generation, you just have it, yeah. and you're the first generation yeah. who burns their children in the house and then commits suicide. You are the first generation. I have goosebumps. Um. Yeah. So I would say. Oh my goodness. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's heavy. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how it impacted on you. I was your mother. Yeah. I continue to be your mother. Yeah. But let's have this conversation, Kit. Tell me how it impacted on me. When you pulled a long face yeah. on me yeah. in the house, yeah. I realized that that face was taking over my space. Yeah. I'm paying the rent. You don't pay the rent here. And let me tell you something, mommy. Like, I'd be sitting somewhere reading a book, and Kendi would come into the space and start to... <sighs> Half and puff, half and puff, and then pull her face, and yeah, and have a long face, and have a long face. And if I get up and move out of that space, she'll, she'll follow you, she'll follow me and start to cry and make up sounds. Okay, so Kate, how did I used to handle that? I mean, I, I this gentle parenting, it's okay, you do you, but for me, what I did with that, if you came into the house and you're dragging a long face, I'd say, go outside, rearrange your face. <laughs> Come back and then come back rearrange your 
face you are not imagine you yeah, don't but pay. then there's that argument of you're not you're teaching your child that they are only welcome in your space when they're a certain way yes that's what i taught you so what what you gonna do about it that's what i taught you you're only welcome in my space when you're a certain way others don't come into my space yeah Even but then me, who will teach me how to self-regulate who will both self-regulate <laughs> in the bedroom i mean even me, I have to look <laughs> after my no, mental but mommy, health. Wait. No, but I wait. have a brain and you have yours. And everybody has to look after their mental health. No, but how, how, should I, how do I teach her how to regulate Why do you emotions? think it's your job? It, isn't it my Why job you, as, her, as no, her parent no, to teach her how I, to regulate her emotions? I don't know. I beg no. I beg no. <laughs> wait! Healthy coping mechanisms. No, my friends. It's not my... It's not I don't you. know. Me... <laughs> If I teach you how to read, you've <laughs> got mathematics, you speak English. Yeah. I, but who will teach me emotional intelligence? How did I learn emotional intelligence? Uh, how did I learn emotional intel intelligence? Did my mother sit me down? My mother had an injection. She was <laughs> a you come joking around with long face meaning you are sick. Mommy. I'm going to bring the injection Mom. and I'll straighten you out. No, my, my mother, you never hang around with a bad uh, face. Uh, bad face. Uh, no, you do you. not use a long face to control the space. Who is going to teach her yeah. not to be emotionally yeah. manipulative? manipulative? It is you. So I taught you not to be emotionally manipulated. Yeah. By saying, yeah. go outside, yeah. rearrange your face. If you ever have anything to say, yeah. figure out your life. Then you come back yeah. and then you talk to me yes. in a way that I can listen to. Yes. You have to respect me as much as I respect you. Yeah. But you cannot be coming at because you've got a long face. Mm. At your poor now baby. Everything at stop. your poor baby. Yeah. I have a cat to look after. after. <laughs> no. I it's it's too much. And uh why a no, mother no, wait, no. no. You know no, now that you've you know what mommy, now that you've said that this this person I was telling you about who is traumatized by her children, mm -hmm. she puts so she cares so so much about what her children um, feel, think. The, exactly what I'm asking you about. Like, it's not my job. It's not my job to teach them emotional regulation and to teach them they're always welcome in my space, regardless of how they are, regardless of their mood, regardless of their face, nah. regardless of. No. They're always welcome where where I am. No, they're not. They're not no. welcome. No. <laughs> they're not I'll, welcome. I'll be building abusers. No, and I do honest I feel like she's so abused. Yeah, I feel abuse. like her children bully her. Yeah. Without obviously out of no fault of their own. No. But the Th those are those men who traumatize and women. Women who only control their husbands oh through God. a long face. Yeah, and she's crying. never talking to yeah, him. She's silent crying. Treatment. Those are manipulative people. And that's you think that's gentle parenting? That is teaching somebody to be abusive and to look for the abusee. So in their adult relationships, they will be looking for somebody who can take on that nature of abuse. So no, it doesn't work. And so we I, need to change. I need to change my mindset. It's you. It has nothing to do with that child. That child, you know what? There are four ways in which children manipulate. Yes. And children will manipulate and other human beings. But yeah, I'm because that, that's just normal. That's just yes. normal yes. human behavior. It's, it's normal human behavior. Yes. Four ways. Yeah. One of them is this thing pull your face yeah. and manipulate yeah. them through. Suck out the air in the space. Come, the, come on. Yes. Another one yeah. is uh, sugar coating, right? Being, yeah, being yeah. Over, overly sweet. Yes. 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 Yeah. Another and that one, one. That one is not recognized. Eh? By the way, people. Very many people miss that one. No, that used that to be you. Oh, you're so cute. You yeah. bring a flower. Mommy, Mommy you're, you're so beautiful. beautiful. Yes. I love you. Yes, it's manipulation. That's manipulation. It is manipulation. And if you don't recognize it in your child and uh, help yourself to survive around it then that child will grow up continuing to be manipulated yeah, that has to be you it, uh, yeah but how do you 
how do you call that out in that child? How do you correct that in that child? But not to, uh, it doesn't work. I just I don't you you know it. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You brought up flower. Oh, thank, thank you, you, baby girl. Pa. Next. And I'm not giving you the thing you asked for because that thing is not working for you. So, mommy, may I go out? No, you may not go out. Yeah, you're a teenager who wants to go out, and because you brought me a tub of ice cream, uh, you expect me to just say yes to your going out. No, I recognize this this thing. Hmm? And you were born during so the day, but it was not yesterday. Nah, it wasn't yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> And, yeah. and tell me tell me the other two and then I tell you how tantrum right P And that is very different from the first one. No, it's very different from because it's the, not the like first a one. big explosive reaction The other one is uh, Silent they, they give you silent mm. treatment. Mm. Yes. They put yeah. a long face and they make sure you see it. So that long face is never in their bedroom. So what I no, would do with no, that No, no, why can't you be sad in your room? <laughs> ah, you, have to, you have to come from where you are yeah. and be sad. I was hearing you laughing, ah, and then all of a sudden you come here, long face. Yes. So that one Wait. would be, I would be like, go to your room and when you have rearranged that face, <laughs> you may come for dinner, otherwise yeah. breakfast, you're welcome to the breakfast table. If Yo. that face is long enough for, for it not to come for dinner, please, breakfast is, always there. breakfast is always there and nobody dies from fasting for 24 hours. So you can it's eat also tomorrow's, Apana, you can also eat tomorrow's dinner if, yeah. if that face if, is, if is continuing yeah. to be long. Yeah. But it's, imagine it's not going to come into my space now. And you know, teenagers and, and, and these children, they also want to bring it into your, uh, into your space yes. because what will you do about it? Yes. But me, my generation, me, I will slap your face. Yes. I'll rearrange it. I'll you rearrange, rearrange it for you. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Yes. There is the interaction between me and, and Kendi is fraught with anxiety yeah. i'm afraid yes. every time she opens her mouth to talk to me yes. immediately yes. i'm afraid yes because there is no correct answer yes this is going to go badly yes regardless of what i say yes yeah so keo comes mama can i go outside uh no it's time for this that and yeah. the other yeah candy mama can i go outside no yes. it's time for this that and the other <laughs> you you never you always you never yeah yeah but that's what you've created baby girl no okay fine you know what she came with it right she came out and the, and chose it you know she chose it yeah because you know we all made in the image of the almighty so she's chosen that and it's been working so yeah. until it but it's not working mommy, it's not working i'll be like andy please stop enough stop that no but you know what kate enough stop that is the big splash yeah yes yeah so it works it is working yes my job in is fact, to irritate very, and, it, and she it, does irritate me my job is to irritate my mother yeah. you yesterday know, you know what happened yesterday she told me she came from outside um they need to be inside the house and showered and eaten by 6 30 mm -hmm. right so this mm -hmm. is something everybody knows yes they have watches mm -hmm. but they for conveniently forget every day mm -hmm. so they come inside mm -hmm. um she wants to go to bed mm -hmm. and she wants to read in her bed mm -hmm. so i said no you lost the privilege because you did not come in in time yes no mama please i said we're not talking about it yes and i turned my back and i walked yeah. away from her yeah and she doesn't know how to be sneaky either because Do i you know? would read in bed even oh. after with a torch <laughs> you know yes. that that interaction yes did not elicit the sulking oh she did not sulk huh? why you tell me you tell me why she did not sulk she went and read in bed she didn't. Oh. She didn't sulk. She mm -hmm. didn't cry. Mm -hmm. She didn't whine. I just said, maybe she was tired. Maybe you she was see. tired, but also maybe mm -hmm. I wasn't sticking around. Oh no, Candy! I wasn't afraid mm -hmm. to just say we are, that's the end of story. We're not talking about it. Okay. Okay. So maybe, maybe there was no anxiety read. and no fear. Yes. Maybe she's able to read. Okay. This this day, this lady is not going to be bullyable. Yes. Yeah. 
you know kate i was never my generation i don't think we we, we were never Nobody given the opportunity to bully our mothers that just hey, did not guys, exist hey, yeah. my generation were yeah. not we were yeah. i there just was, was no, never there was able, no there was such no thing room. i could not bully my mother i could go ask for permission for something once told no i walk away could you try could you away. try please mama could you try to negotiate yeah I, in fact, I learned negotiation. Uh, I don't know where I learned negotiation because I'm a, I'm a very good negotiator, but not from my parents. Playground. Okay. We, were, we were playground. Okay. A lot of play because we were outside of the house a lot. Yeah. And never played in the house, so I learned negotiation out there. Yeah. But uh, when my when my mother, especially mm -hmm. my mother, Your mom oh yes, no, I, but I could negotiate with my father. Yeah. He was a teacher. He was always there. Yeah. My mother, who was the medic, was uh, you know, uh, she she was she she was tired <laughs> tired from the medical work. She got home tired. She was tired. Eight children. She's tired. She comes home tired, and you better have done things according to how things are aligned. Yes. The house has to be looking a particular way, yes. and it mustn't be. You you must have finished your homework. That's that is work to yeah. make sure that you did your homework. Yeah. But uh, if you pretended to be sick in the daytime, mm -hmm. by the time she came home, you didn't want to see the thermometer, no. see the white uniform, no. smell the hospital on yeah, her, yeah. and get the injection. So by evening you are well. <laughs> yeah. So no. Yeah. So no generation X were not necessarily manipulated by their children. Yeah. Yeah. And why? I, I do understand in the best interest of the child as a mm. human rights. Mm. Yes, as yeah. a human rights agent. Yes. Indeed, we operate in the best interest of the child. Yes. But I also am an individual and in doing for the child, my uh, human rights yes. are not diminished. They must not be diminished. I think that's the balance we lack. We don't have that balance at, at all. Remove my human rights so that this person has their human rights. Imagine no, that's no. the balance we we lack, mm -hmm. and we don't. Um, and I'm going to be bossy. It's my house. I pay the rent. We don't. We don't consider emotional and mental wellness a yeah. human right for us. For you, for for yourself, for ourselves. Yes, it's, we are focusing on the children. But you are a bad and generation. The things that I see on uh, social media, women complaining about children, children, and I uh, the other day I was watching somebody saying that the research shows that uh, um. What's it called? Working with your children at home. Yeah. Like homeschooling? Not only homeschooling, mm. but just taking care of children. Yeah. Child mm. care mm. and mm. Uh, mm. unpaid care work. Unpaid care work. Mm. That's not a terminology I've heard. I That's like what it. it's called. It's called unpaid care work. That <laughs> it is 90, over 90% 90 mm. more stressful than any job or don't you planet don't even have to convince me so imagine an astronaut living alone forget even astronaut somebody in on war. the moon you in war stressed. you are less stressed <laughs> yeah and, and somebody is trying to kill you yes yeah and 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 uh, the government should be providing therapy for these homestay why? mothers why why why, why? Uh, they were made for that why stay at home mothers. millennia of women have been doing that so what exactly and millennia of women uh, were, chapa, were straightening their children using that part or that one. <laughs> yeah, but then suddenly you take the back hand away from me and you say, I need to be giving gentle parenting. Yeah. And then you watch societies that have been working on gentle parenting for longer than us. Yeah. These societies, yeah. they're the ones whose children are going to school with a gun. They're the ones. They are the ones. When did you see a, a Kenyan child? No, that cannot. That can go never to school happen. with a gun. No. 
They mm. might shoot themselves dead in the in their house, yeah. but the gun has never yet gone to, to school, school to shoot up to a school. shoot up a school. Random teachers, yeah. children, yeah. not yet. Janita. A gentle parenting. Why aren't the children gentle? Yes, you've been working on gentle parenting for a while. Why aren't your children gentle? And mine who got the backhand. Why is my backhand child gentle? Sitting right here next to me, and we have an amazing relationship going on. She got backhand, she got front hand. I, um, <laughs> I think well, we are we are there then. Mm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks for the help. Mm. Yeah, take back the power take back the power if she's going to be unhappy her happiness happiness is chosen her dad keeps telling her that yeah choose it's happiness. not given choose happiness yeah. <laughs> can you choose happy? given you can't give somebody happiness yeah 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 i never i couldn't give you happiness no. i one day i realized no if i'm happy then people will be happy so i'll subdue you and then <laughs> if the, in that subduing you i am happy then one day you will get into that space of being happy with me enough um, said yeah thank you you're most welcome baby girl so what you going to do i am now empowered thank you um my main takeaway mm -hmm. is i can't take care of my child at my expense that's my main takeaway yeah. and i have been doing it at yeah. my expense yeah you can't that's not a carer no and that's not care i don't know i'm doing that's it to care. be junior holy spirit yeah that's somebody who needs therapy yeah, and, uh, I do. I I take this to my therapist often. <laughs> what does she say? The same. I mean, say yeah, she. She's a she. Mm -hmm. Just the same same things. Are you taking care of yourself? Are you this? That? Yeah. 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 Wow. That was more than I had hoped or dreamt of. And thank you for coming, mommy, to the channel. You thank are you. always a fresh, simultaneously a fresh, a breath of fresh air, thank and you. a ball of fire. Thank you. Thank you for asking me that question. It's got me to reflect yeah. in ways that I've not had the opportunity to reflect in a way. And to be able to reach back yeah. into my own upbringing and yeah. the methods that my, uh, my adorable mother yeah. used. And uh, mm, the fact that she was scary made her no less loving. Mm. Uh, and no less she was loved and no less loved mm. and yeah and i i think people are using their children to validate themselves and uh, that is also that's manipulation the, that's, the, that's the age old thing yeah we've, that's we've also manipulation that yeah you just want your what? child to say i love you mommy i love You're, you mommy yeah, yeah yeah and um you know kid Maybe I'll finish off by saying something that uh, one time my life skills coach mm. um, told me. We were a group of 13 people mm. and we were going to go through uh, six months of yeah. life skills coaching. Yeah. And the coach, uh, th this was not even a paid for session. Yeah. Six months and you don't pay for it, but you st you, if you get three strikes, you're out. Yeah. And uh, a strike could mean that you're 30 seconds late for the session, or even 10. Okay. 10 seconds or one second it late. Was, it was yeah, she used to count down. Perfect in yeah. te integrity. It, perfect integrity. Mm -hmm. But I remember at the beginning of the coaching session, she said, I'm here to stand for your transformation. Mm -hmm. And each one of you have written down the ways in which you want to be transformed mm -hmm. for your life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the next in the next six months mm -hmm. in a way that will impact the rest of your life and i'm standing for it mm -hmm. i've got all of you have handed in your sheets mm -hmm. and i know exactly what you're standing for yes. and i'll stand for you and i will hold your hand until you get there yeah and you will hit me yeah and i'm not here for the love I don't I'm her. here for your <laughs> transformation and I don't need care. It or care. And I don't need you to love me. I'm your coach and I will coach you and you will get there. I and promise. you will hate me. I promise. 
I hated her and I finished it. First of all, I looked at her and I thought, hmm. This little woman here, mm -hmm. she thinks that I'm going to hate her. Nobody ever me, I can't, I can't, like I can't, me. Hate me, I can't. I can't. What, what I do, I have no time to for hatred. She said, You will be dreaming about me. <laughs> you will be, you will, you, when you sleep, you'll be thinking about me and you'll be shuddering. And my, 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 uh, she paired us in two. Yeah. And the person she paired me with yeah. was uh, a, a Navy captain yeah. in, uh, in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And I thought, this guy, who will ever scare him? Yeah. He, I'm Was telling you, terrified. Terrified of her. And by the time we were finishing, we did not like her, but we all, each one of us, achieved our objectives. And at the end of it all, she said, So you hate me? And you've all achieved. And on that day, I realized I really like you. You're somebody who tr stood for my transformation, even against myself. And you did not care that it was painful. You cared that I was traveling the journey that was leading me to that transformation. Kit, stop there. Because... Get that child to age 24. There. Because I do this for these guys. And I don't care whether they like me or not. These people or the, these the video. People, these people here. Yes. I do that and I tell them hard things. Yes. And I don't care because I'm standing for the transformation of women all over the world. Exactly. I'm taking it home. Thank You're you. taking it home. Thank you. That's enough said. Yeah. You're not trying to get your child to love you. Just get to her to age 24. Safe and sound. And if one day she's looking the way that you're looking, I got you here. Job done. Thank you for watching and listening. Until next time. Bye. Thank you for being vulnerable. <laughs>